Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Toyota. Our vision is to deliver better mobility for all. That's not just about making cars. It's about developing solutions that enable everybody to enjoy freedom of mobility, regardless of age or physical ability. Our commitment to ever better mobility for all is strongly linked to our Olympics and Paralympics partnerships. We feel very close to our para-athletes and our Olympic athletes around the world. It's a feeling captured in our Start Your Impossible message. It's about our belief that everyone should aspire to achieve their life's ambition, however challenging. Turning for a moment to our performance in 2017, we broke through the one million sales mark in Europe again. That gave us a 4.8% market share, with almost 80% of Toyota vehicles having been built right here in Europe. That shows how we dedicated we are to local manufacturing. It's our hybrid electric models that's powering our growth. Last year, they accounted for 41% of our total European sales. In the Western European markets, it was almost 50%. That's due to a 38% year-on-year increase in the number we have sold. Models that make a strong emotional connection with owners have also boosted our performance in 2017, specifically the CHR and, of course, RAV4, that are great cars to own and, of course, to drive. Looking ahead, we want to sustain our growth both in sales and profits. This year, we again plan to sell more than one million vehicles. And this time, we expect hybrid mix to be up to 47%. Let's now talk a little bit about your future. Here to my right, you can see how we expect to achieve our mobility goals, starting with a new Concept I. With Concept I, we are building a new relationship between the driver and the car. In fact, they become partners. Concept I uses artificial intelligence and advanced connectivity. So we'll get to know and understand the driver's habits and preferences. Its automated driving functions will make journeys easier safer and more enjoyable. We have made the concept I ride fully accessible for people with limited personal mobility, such as wheelchair users, and the concept I walk. It's compact, adaptable, and easy to maneuver. So it's great moving around in pedestrian areas. These three concepts are battery electric vehicles, but we are also working on the next generation of fuel cell electric technology. That has been applied here in the fine comfort ride. It looks to the future of premium sedan design. And it's practical with a range of more than 1,000 kilometers, fast refueling, and of course, zero emissions. Toyota started the electrification revolution more than 20 years ago with the Prius. Then we rapidly expanded into core European segments. And by the end of this month, we will have sold close to 12 million electrified vehicles worldwide. In Europe, that figure is now 1.8 million. Our president, Akio Toyota, announced it's our ambition of selling 5.5 million electrified vehicles a year by 2030. These will include one million fuel cell and battery electric vehicles. In Europe, hybrid electric will remain the main vector for our future growth, as you can see outlined in the chart behind me. When we look at the success of our hybrids in Europe, ours is the model which moved technology from niche to mainstream. 
We launched the first Aorus in 2010, and it was aimed right at the heart of the important C segment in the European market. Since then, we have sold more than 460,000 Aorus hybrids. It's been a breakthrough car for Toyota because most people bought, most cars were bought by people who were new to the model and, of course, also new to the technology. Now it's time for a new chapter in the Aura story. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present to you the new third generation Aurus. Fantastic. As we have recently confirmed, the new Aorus will be made at our Berniston factory in the UK, and sales in Europe will start early next year. Its main strengths are founded in two innovations, the Toyota new global Arctic architecture, TNGA, and the fourth generation hybrid electric powertrain. TNGA gives the car rigidity and low center of gravity. These are the qualities you need for outstanding comfort, handling, and driving pleasure. Thanks to TNGA, have been able to create a premium dynamic design and achieve top of class NVH performance. These are the keys to giving the new Aorus a strong emotional appeal. Six months ago in Frankfurt, we announced a second hybrid electric powertrain for all our core models in the future. And here it is. The new Aorus will be the first Toyota to offer the choice of two hybrid electric powertrains. It will have the super efficient 1.8 liter system, the same as in the Prius and the CHR, and it will also be available with a new two liter hybrid with 180 horsepower. Yes, the more powerful, but of course, it's fuel efficient. And the new hybrid transmission will make it even more enjoyable and engaging to drive. The current 1.2 liter turbo petrol engine will complete the range. But you may ask, where's the diesel powertrain? The answer is simple. There isn't one. We are carrying on with our strategy. We started with the launch of the CHR. We are building on the success of our hybrid lineup and phasing out diesel engines for our passenger cars in Europe. Customer demand is a clear sign that our petrol electric hybrids are a strong and powerful alternative. I'm also pleased to introduce new upgrades for the smallest member of our range the IGO. The model has been done a great job for our brand. It's brought many new, young and style-conscious customers to Toyota. Across Europe, we sold more than 85,000 IGOs last year. And now we want to build on the momentum by giving the car even more appeal. On the outside, there's a stronger look for the famous Frontal X. Inside, there are new colors, patterns, and the bolsteries. The engine has been made quieter and more responsive. And the suspension changes make it a more comfortable ride. I have talked about the emotional appeal we have bringing to our cars. But we also want to add excitement as well. That's where the work of Toyota Gazoo Racing is playing a key role. We launched Toyota Gazoo Racing as a brand in Europe last year. Because we know that taking part in motorsport is a great way to make ever better cars for the road. This year, we have already had great success. 
Second and third for the Toyota Gazoo Racing Hilux on the Car Rally. It's a super tough event, but more than 40% of the vehicles which made it to the finish were Toyotas. In WRC, after an exciting start for the season, with strong performances in both Monte Carlo and Sweden, Toyota is running second in the manufacturing championships. And for our World Endurance Championship team, a full season lies ahead, including the Le Mans 24-hour. And we are very excited that double Formula One world champion Fernando Alonso will be part of our driver's lineup. With him, we will further enhance our hybrid electric technologies for our future road cars. And today, with the concept car I'm about to reveal, we are preparing for an exciting new sports car that we will be launching soon. Ladies and gentlemen, the new GR Super Racing Concept. Yes, the Supra is returning. This concept is a clear signal of our intention to bring back one of our most legendary sports cars to the market. This baby, developed by Toyota Gazoo Racing, is a thoroughbred designed for ra the racetrack. The best way of taking our Supra Hero into a new era. It has been made light, compact, and of course, fast. I think you will agree it looks amazing. So to conclude, our future will seize the opportunities the Toyota new global architecture gives us. To create new cars with emotional designs, cars that are desirable and genuinely rewarding to drive and to own, and great to drive. We will accelerate the electrification of our model range, not just by using our world-leading hybrid electric technology, we will also introduce new battery electric vehicles. And we will make sure that fun to drive and proud to own will be associated with Toyota, just like quality, durability already are. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for your kind attention. And now for photographs, first of all, I would like to invite the chief engineer for the new hours, Werasan, to join me here on stage. <laughs> Tadasan, the chief engineer for the Supra, will be available next to the GR Supra concept. And Teraisan, the engineer, chief engineer for IGO, will be available next to the IGO. Thank you very much for your attendance. Thank you. <laughs> 